Hey guys, it's Nora. On today's adventure, I'm gonna be using my small underwater metal detector to treasure hunt a beautiful little beach. I'm hoping I could find some really cool treasures today, so let's grab our gear, get down to the water, and see what we can find. The water was extremely rough today. I didn't find much, but I did lose my dive knife, so that sucks. Oh my god, guys, a lady just came up to me and told me her husband found this. So I got my knife back, yay! <laughs> I don't know what the plan is next, but I'll let you guys know soon. Hmm. All right, guys, we're filling up water because we're actually completely out. I can't even rinse my wetsuit off. And we don't have the right attachment for the hose, so my dad has to hold it with his hands. And this is our water reservoir. As you can see, we were at the very bottom and it's only up to here now. Got a long way to go. We'll have water after this, we could shower, and I could wash all my gear. So this is the end. Doesn't fit here, so we have to hold it here. <laughs> Many hours later. All right guys, we changed locations, just got to a new beach. I'm gonna jump in the water right away and hopefully find some cool things.
All right, guys, as usual, I'll start with my trash finds. I found three bottle caps, two pull tabs, and a bunch of these aluminum rocks. I believe these aluminum rocks are made from metal cans, maybe burned in the bonfire or something like that. I'm not completely sure, but I do find a lot of these. Next, I found this mystery piece. Comment down below if you know what this is from. I found a nasty battery, a really crusty hinge, a broken hair clip. This was a really disappointing find because when I first saw this, I thought it was a big gold ring. <laughs> I found a 35 gram lead sinker. It's pretty typical for me to find these at these beaches. A total of three euros and 55 cents. These sunglasses I found at the first beach I was at. I wasn't really able to find much there because the water was so rough, but this was probably the coolest find from there. Next, I found this little diamond heart. I don't think it's real diamonds, but let's try it just in case. No, they're fake. This little pendant says Amika, which I believe means friend. I know it's pretty crazy, but I found a matching pair of earrings today, guys. These earrings were found like two hours apart and probably half a mile apart from each other. So I'm assuming the person that lost these lost them at the same time. Maybe she got hit by a wave or something, but it just goes to show you how the current took one of them, assuming she lost it in the same place. I don't think these are gold or anything. As you can see, maybe they were gold plated and the plating's wearing away, but they do have a bunch of gemstones on them. So let's go ahead and use the diamond tester and see if they're diamonds. Whoa, these look really shiny. No! <laughs> Looks like they're not real, guys. Let's try the other earring. Nope, this one's also fake. That's really too bad. Imagine if these were real diamonds. That would have been an insane find, guys. Maybe one day I could find a real pair of earrings like this. <laughs> and now for my best find of the day. Check this out, guys. I found a crucifix, which I believe is silver. And if you look closely, it looks like it was once gold plated. But this was definitely an awesome find. Too bad the little piece that holds the chain is broken, but I'm sure that could be fixed. Definitely really cool to search these two beaches and I ended up finding some really cool things. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Put your mind.